Hey guys! I guess I scared my dog. But, um, do you want to come up here, Kona? Come here. Anyway, for this video, I'm doing a Q&A, so I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram. This is a plug. Follow me on Instagram if you're not, which you probably are because uh, my YouTube's smaller, but. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. But, um, yeah, you guys didn't have that good of questions, sorry, but like, I don't know, they were just generic questions like about fitness and everything, but I kind of want to get juicier, so maybe I'll add my questions into the mix. I don't know. I didn't even bother changing out of my pajamas because, oh, well, I guess you could see my lower half, but oh well. So I'm just going to act like we're all friends here. I'm in my pajamas. I'm just chilling and stuff. Why is it so hard to start videos for me? I guess I will answer your guys' questions and I will try to make it as entertaining as I can. And yeah, let's go. Oh, I didn't even pick out the questions. Okay, wait. The first question I got asked was how to deal with weight gain when you're in recovering from an eating disorder. And I thought that was a really good question because for me personally, it was really, really difficult to accept the weight gain and all that. But I would highly recommend like avoiding mirrors as much as you can. Cause I remember, like I remember when I was in the depths of my eating disorder, I was so obsessed with body checking and I would always check if I didn't magically like gain 10 pounds in the course of 30 minutes. I don't know. It was just like such an obsessive thing for me. And yeah, so avoiding mirrors was very helpful. And also wearing baggy clothes and just cleaning out your closet of like your old clothes too helped me a lot. It was so easy for me to like compare myself to other people when I was trying to gain weight. And I always questioned like, why do I have to gain weight when everyone else around me is like losing weight or just like being normal and everything but the thing that I had to remember was what I was dealing with was a mental illness like it had nothing to do with my physical appearance like yeah it was just all a mental thing so and I always looked in the long run like I would be so much more healthier if I gained this weight now and I would be able to have freedom once I gained this weight so that's what kept me motivated a lot during that time was that I got freedom and I didn't have to be enslaved to my mind and I didn't have to worry about my mom making all my food and all of that. So that was very helpful for me was just looking in the long run and knowing that what the weight you're going to gain right now, of course, it's going to like go to all of your organs and kind of in your midsection. But once you once your body trusts you again, it starts distributing all over your body so it doesn't have to just stay in one place like yeah so I don't know that helped me a lot was body distribution and everything but just keep going keep gaining the weight that you need to gain and just become healthier and stronger you'll feel so much better the second question is what are my favorite TV shows on Netflix and right now are TV shows and movies I don't know and right now, I've been like really into Netflix lately, and it's kind of wasting my time, but <laughs> it's fun. So my favorite ones are Shameless, Atypical, Public School, Fundamentals of Caring, I don't know I'll put them up on the screen because I kind of forgot them right now I think I'm gonna just answer these questions throughout the day because I'm kind of bored just sitting here and talking so let's get on with the day I don't know oh what are you doing is that an apple he's always getting these apples outside from our apple tree do you like them but they might have worms in them, so I'm gonna eat them. Where are the 
rice cakes. Another question I always get asked is if I count macros. And I think I said this in my last video. I don't even know. But I don't and I highly not recommend it for anyone that has a tendency to be very obsessive like me. <laughs> um, macro counting probably wouldn't be the best thing because you can be so obsessed with getting a certain number every day which isn't really the best because I don't know your body just needs different nutrients every day. I don't know. Never mind. I am not a dietitian, so I'm not going to recommend anything in terms of like losing weight or I guess I can, but I mean like nothing in terms of very, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, never mind. Okay, next question. Aww. Let's talk about a first kiss. So I remember when I had my first kiss, it was like probably when I was like eight years old. I don't know, I don't even remember, but it was one of, one of my close friends at the time, his name, no, I won't say his name. We'll just call him Tom. And Tom and I, we, I used to not like him, but at the same time, I liked him. Like, it was one of those guys that always just, you hated, but then at the same time, you liked it. <laughs> I don't know, but um, he used to chase us around the house with his little thingy out. It was so gross. But, yeah, I remember kissing in our backyard, and then someone caught us, and then I was so embarrassed. But the other kiss that I had, which count it as an actual kiss it was with this one guy that I was seeing for quite a while but I didn't really like it I didn't really like him and I felt bad for not liking him so I just kept going out with him I don't know why but I just wanted it to work because I never been in a relationship and something just wasn't clicking and I was just like oh this is kind of weird and then I remember when we got back from the movies or something he gave me a little peck and it was so awkward and I was like oh my gosh is this what kissing is actually like? Like, kissing is so weird. Yeah. And, then, and then I remember when, um, this is so weird to talk about, ma made out, and then I, the whole time I was just like, oh, when, when will this stop? Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, am I weird? But maybe it just wasn't a good kisser, I don't know. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, so this is my friend, my one and only friend. <laughs> so, um, yeah, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tamila. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's awkward, huh? So, yeah, this is Tamila. <laughs> I look really, like, I look like a boy, but, um... <laughs> okay, so I just got some new vans in the mail, and these are from my sister. I'm going to design some sunflowers on it. And I'm super excited. Oh, it looks so tiny. I'm super excited because I haven't done shoes in a long time and I really missed it, but doing these make me so nervous because I'm scared if I'm gonna mess up on them and like this is permanent. So when I do it, I usually start off by just drawing um, this stuff on the shoe like really lightly because I used to draw hard on it and then I tried to go back and erase it but it didn't erase. <laughs> so I tried to draw very lightly at first and then once the drawings are all finished I go back in with a sharpie or ink pens that I'm trying to find. Uh, ink pens and yeah just draw them in and this one I'm going to color yellow. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm so weird. Okay, so I finished one side. I still need to fix it up a little bit and erase some stuff and go over it again with another layer of color. But that's how they're looking so far. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> another question I get asked is what I like to do when I'm not drawing or I'm not at the gym. I love baking like I absolutely love it I could bake all day for someone like it, it gets boring baking for myself but I could bake anything for anyone and it makes me so happy because I don't know I just love baking you know it just it just So right now I am making brownies. 
And I have tahini, which I think it's kind of weird to put tahini in brownies, but I heard that it gets really moist. Ugh. Really moist when you add the tahini in it. It makes it all gooey and well. So I'm making this recipe up because I am a pro and I need to build my own recipes. If you guys want this recipe, if it turns out good, I don't know if it's gonna turn out good, I'll leave it in the description, but only if you guys comment it. Only. This is like not even a Q&A anymore, it's just a vlog. I do everything wrong. I just got done taking pictures of the final products of the shoes, and I'm so, so happy how they turned out. I'll show you guys. Oh, you can't really see it. Mm -hmm. Sunflowers are my favorite flower of all time, so I love these shoes, and I think I want to do a pair for me. These ones are for my sister, Amber. Ew! A swolisi. So that is my gift to her for her very late birthday present, because I didn't get a chance to do them when it was her actual birthday. But I really hope she likes them, and if she doesn't, then I'll have them. But I'm pretty sure she'll like them. And uh, that, I guess it leads into that. A question that I got is if I'll ever do, like, shoes and tattoos for commission work. And I do do, 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 I, I do do some here and there, but sometimes it could get overwhelming. And um, every time when I tell people, like, my shoe prices, because I do them for, one, for 180 they get, like, they're like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> like, art takes time and it takes effort, and you should not sell yourself short. So that is what I learned. And plus, I pay for the shoe, which is fifty dollars, fifty-five dollars, and I pay for the shipping. So that all goes out of the one eighty, which leaves me like a hundred and. 20? I don't know, I can't do math, 100 and something, for my time and all my pens and everything that I use. So what I'm learning is to not sell myself short and to say no when I need to because I tend to just say, yes, I'll do your tattoos or I'll do whatever and I never get around to it and I it just keeps building up. So yeah, but I think pretty soon I'm going to start um, doing tattoos and shoes again. I just need time and I need, um, yeah, I just need time. And I'm also selling my stuff on Amazon. So like my artwork that you guys like, I'm selling it on Amazon soon. And I'm super excited for that. So you guys get to pick up a poster by me if you want to. Okay. I think that's gonna be it for this video. This video, it wasn't really a QA, and a but I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I hope you guys enjoyed and please like and subscribe because it really, really helps out my channel to grow and I, I don't know, I just want to reach more people and I don't know, never mind. Okay, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.